welcome back to new session project stakeholder management this is the last chapter in pinba and this is the 10th knowledge area surprisingly this is one of the first activity we perform on the project once you get approved project charter of all the 10 knowledge areas Stakeholder management has the second largest spread in terms of number of process groups it covers. It has a process in each of the process group except for closing. Only the integration knowledge area has a larger spread with all with a processes in all five process groups. The learning objective of this session are We'll start with understanding what is stakeholder and who are the project stakeholder, key concept, trends and emerging practices, process tailoring considerations, considerations for adaptive environment, stakeholder management definition, and just quick look at all four processes. And of course, at the end, we will review them. What is stakeholder? A stakeholder is an individual, group, or organization who may affect or get affected by a decision, activity, or outcome of the project. Stakeholder examples, project manager, project management team, project team members, project sponsor, end users, customer organization, company owner or shareholders, government entities, consultancy firms, etc. Let's look at the key concept. It's very important to identify all stakeholders on the project. Stakeholder identification should happen early in the project as a project manager, you don't want to face a situation where you could not identify right stakeholder in the beginning, resulting in not getting a proper requirements. And you have to collect or recollect the requirements or face a problem during business acceptance. Project manager will not have time to manage all stakeholder. So ensure team understand their responsibility towards stakeholder management. Some stakeholder may not necessarily be involved in project, but their interest may be affected by the project either positively or negatively. It is important to take the negative stakeholder into account on a project. For example, a local environmental group could be considered a negative stakeholder for a new road construction project as road passes through a forest as this group could protest against the project. Trends and emerging practices. Project team is involved in stakeholder engagement. Stakeholder should be seen as a project partner. This gives everyone sense of shared ownership and collaboration is a key to success. Today, we come across a very complex and technology driven project. So organization can work with specialized vendors or individuals to co-create. Example, telecommunication company and a software company can come together to create a product or service on behalf of government for benefit of citizens. PM should consider stakeholders from different areas like government, regulatory bodies, lobby groups, environmentalist, financial organization, media, etc. Tailoring considerations. Project conditions or organization in which project is executing may drive process tailoring. For example, a software project to change a small company's website may not need a lot of stakeholder engagement or management. Stakeholder diversity in the project team or local culture may demand special activities or means to engage stakeholders on the project. 
large number of stakeholder in a project may increase complexity of a stakeholder relationship. This will demand more communication channels. Use communication technology to eliminate miscommunication. For example, a phone, video conferencing, or a Kanban board for a project status, status tracking can be very effective tool. Considerations for adaptive environment. In agile environment, all stakeholders participate and contribute to the project. Stakeholders directly talk to team or one another. This means there is less bureaucracy and no need of a formal communication between different parties. Collaborate with like-minded individuals or organization to co-create product or services. Transparency in the project is highly encouraged. Example, project status, yeah, the status of completed activities will be openly displayed on Kanban board. Let's look at a project stakeholder management knowledge area definition. This knowledge area deals with identifying people, group or organization that could impact or impacted by the project. Analyze stakeholder expectation and their impact on the project. Develop an appropriate stakeholder engagement strategies so that you can engage stakeholders throughout the project. We have four processes under project stakeholder management knowledge area. The first process is identify stakeholder, which is part of planning process group. This is the process of identifying stakeholder that could impact or get impacted by a decision, activity, or outcome of the project. Plan stakeholder engagement, which is under planning process group. This is a process of developing appropriate management strategies to effectively engage stakeholder throughout the project life cycle. Manage stakeholder engagement, execution process group. Now this is the process of communicating and working with stakeholder to meet their needs, expectations, address issues and foster stakeholder engagement. And finally, fourth process, monitor stakeholder engagement under monitoring and controlling process group. This is the process of overall project stakeholder relationship and existing strategies and plan for engaging stakeholders. A quick review. So in this session, we completed a stakeholder definition. We talked about some of the key concept, trends and emerging practices, telling considerations. We talked about stakeholder management, knowledge area definitions, we also talked about all four processes. Thank you. Keep focusing. See you in the next session. That's identify stakeholders.